If your Valorant feels laggy or starts to stutter, don't worry. In this video, I'll show you one simple NVIDIA setting that can instantly boost your FPS and make your gameplay feel much smoother. It's quick, completely safe, and works on every PC. So make sure to watch till the end and follow each step carefully. Step one, set game on high performance first. Go to your desktop and click on the start menu at the bottom left corner, then select the settings icon. Once the settings window opens, click on system from the left side. After that, scroll down slowly until you find and click on graphics settings. Now, under add an app to set preference, make sure desktop app is selected, then click on browse. A file explorer window will open. Here, navigate to your Valorant installation folder. Usually located at D, right games, Valorant, live, inside this folder, select the valorant.exe file and click add. Once Valorant appears in the list, click on it and then click the options button. A small window will pop up with three choices. Let windows decide, power saving and high performance. Choose high performance and click save. After saving, close the settings window and restart your PC to apply the changes. Once your computer restarts, Valorant will now run using your high performance GPU, giving you smoother gameplay and higher FPS. Frustrated with lag and high pain? Gear Up Booster can fix it instantly. Check the download link in the description and get smooth lag free gameplay in seconds. Step two, first, Go to your desktop and look for the Valorant shortcut icon. Move your mouse over it and right click once. From the small menu that appears, click on open file location. If you don't have the shortcut on your desktop, don't worry. You can instead open file explorer or by pressing Windows plus E. Once file explorer is open, go to this path carefully. D, React Games, Valorant. Wait for the folder to load completely. Now. Inside the folder, scroll slowly until you find the file name valorant.exe. This is the main game file for Valorant. When you find it, right click on it once and then choose properties from the bottom of the menu. A new window will appear. This is the properties window dot. At the top of the properties window, you'll see a few tabs. Click on the one that says compatibility. Once you're inside the compatibility tab, Look carefully for an option that says Disable Full Screen Optimizations. There will be a small box next to it. Click the box so a check mark appears inside. This means full screen optimization will be turned off for Valorant. After checking the box, move your mouse to the bottom right corner and click on Apply. Then click OK to save your changes. You can now close the window. To finish, restart your PC or restart Valorant so the changes can take effect. Once you've done all this, Valorant will run without full screen optimization, helping you get smoother performance. Lower input delay and a more stable FPS while playing. Step 3. Use CPU Unpark tool. You can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away. First, go to your desktop and look for the CPU Unpark tool. Take your time and double click on it to open. Now. Wait for a few seconds until the window fully appears on your screen. You will see some information at the top showing how many CPU cores are enabled and how many are parked. If it says that some cores are parked, that means those cores are currently not being used by your system.next. Move your eyes slowly to the middle of the window where it says power here. Make sure your system power plan is set to high performance. If it's not, click on the drop down menu and choose it carefully. Also, check that the, the system power state says plugged in AC. This means your computer is using stable power dot now. Scroll your attention down to the bottom part where you see the core parking index bar. Move the slider all the way to the right side until it shows 100% unparked. This step will make all your CPU cores stay active and ready to work at full speed. After that, look at the bottom right corner of the window. You'll see two buttons, unpark all and apply. First, click on Unpark All and wait for a few seconds as the tool does its job. When it finishes, click Apply to save your settings. Once everything is done, click the close button at the bottom left to exit the program. 
Now, restart your PC slowly and wait for it to turn back on. When your computer starts again, open the CPU Unpark tool one more time. Look at the top of the window. If it now shows parked cores, zero, that means all your CPU cores are successfully unparked. Now your CPU is fully active, giving you smoother performance, faster response time, and a noticeable boost in FPS while gaming. Step four, NVIDIA control panel. First, go to your desktop and give your computer a moment to fully load. Now, right click on any empty space on your desktop, not on an icon, just on the background. A small menu will appear. From this menu, slowly click on NVIDIA control panel. Wait patiently for it to open. Sometimes it can take a few seconds, so don't rush. When the NVIDIA control panel window appears, look carefully on the left side. You will see several options. Find the one that says Manage 3D Settings and click on it slowly. Then, on the right side of the window, click on the tab that says Program Settings. This will let you make changes only for Valorant, not for all games now. In the Program Settings section, you will see a box that says Select a program to customize. Click on the small arrow next to it and wait for the list to appear. If you see Valorant in the list, select it. But if it's not there, click on the Add button. After that, click on Browse. Take your time and carefully go to this folder. D, Riot Games, Valorant, Live. Once you're inside that folder, look for a file named valorant.exe. Click on it once. Then click on Open. And after that, click Add Selected Program. Now wait a few seconds until you see Valorant appear in the list dot after adding Valorant to the list. Slowly scroll down through the Settings section. Take your time. You'll now change each setting one by one very carefully. First, find Image Sharpening and set it to Off. Then, look for Ambient Occlusion and change it to Off as well. After that, scroll down gently until you find Anisotropic Filtering and set it to Off. Next, move to Antip, Anti-Aliasing, FXAA, set it to Off. And do the same for Anti-Aliasing Mode. Making sure it's also turned off. Now, find CUDA GPUs and select All, so your GPU can use all its cores for better performance. Then, scroll down to Low Latency Mode and set it to On to help reduce input delay and make Valorant feel smoother. After that, Look for Power Management Mode, click on it carefully, and choose Prefer Maximum Performance to make sure your GPU runs at its full strength while gaming. Next, go to Texture Filtering, Quality, and set it to High Performance. Continue by finding Threaded Optimization and turn it on, allowing your CPU to manage tasks more efficiently. Finally, scroll to Vertical Sync, V-Sync, and Triple Buffering and make sure both of these are set to off once you've adjusted everything. Pause for a moment and go through the list again, slowly and carefully, to make sure each setting is correct. These changes will help Valorant run smoother, reduce lag, and boost FPS. Especially on a low-end PC dot dot, once you have changed all the settings, look at the bottom right corner of the window and click on the Apply button. Now, Wait for a few seconds while the changes are saved. When it's done, close the NVIDIA control panel. Finally, restart your PC to make sure all the settings are applied properly. After your computer turns back on, open Valorant again. Now your game will run with the optimized NVIDIA settings, giving you smoother gameplay, fewer FPS drops, and much better performance, even if you are using a low-end PC. Step 5. Valorant High and Low Priority Registry. You can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away. First, go to your desktop and wait until everything is fully loaded. You will see two files, one named Valorant underscore high underscore priority dot reg and the other named Valorant underscore low underscore priority dot reg. Take a moment to decide which one you want to install first. If you want Valorant to run faster and use more CPU power for smoother performance, you should install the high priority file. But if you want Valorant to use fewer system resources and leave room for other apps, 
then use the low priority file. Once you've decided, move your mouse slowly over the file you want to install. For example, valorant underscore high underscore priority dot rig and right click on it. A small menu will appear. From that menu, click on merge. After clicking, a message will pop up asking, are you sure you want to continue? Take your time, read the message carefully, and then click yes. Another confirmation box will appear asking if you want to allow changes to your registry. Again, click yes and wait patiently for a few seconds. You'll then see a message saying that the information has been successfully added to the registry. Click OK to close it. If you also want to install the low priority file, follow the exact same steps. Right click on Valorant underscore low underscore priority dot reg. Choose merge, then click yes. And once again, click yes when the second confirmation appears. Wait for the success message and click OK when it appears. After you're done installing either one or both files, it's important to restart your PC so that the changes can take effect. Click on the Start menu, select Power, and then choose Restart. Wait patiently while your system restarts completely. Once your computer is back on, open Valorant again. If you installed the High Priority Registry file, the game will now run with higher CPU priority, helping to improve FPS and reduce lag. If you use the Low Priority file instead, Valorant will now use fewer system resources which can make multitasking smoother while still keeping the gameplay stable. Step six, MSI mode utility tool. Go to your desktop and find the MSI mode utility tool. Right click on it and select run as administrator. When a message appears asking if you want to allow the app to make changes to your device, click yes, then wait a few seconds for the program to open completely. Once the MSI mode utility window appears, you will see a list of all your system devices. Take your time and scroll slowly through the list until you find your graphics card. It should be named something like NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 or similar, depending on your GPU. When you find it, look across the same row and locate the box labeled MSI. If that box is not checked, carefully click on it to enable it. This will activate MSI mode for your graphics card helping it communicate more efficiently with your system for smoother performance. Next, look toward the right side of the same row where you'll find the column labeled interrupt priority. Click on the drop down menu beside your GPU and select high. Setting it to high priority ensures that your graphics card receives faster and more consistent communication from Windows, which helps reduce stutters and input lag while you're playing Valorant. Before continuing, take a moment to double check everything. Make sure only your GPU has MSI mode enabled and that high priority is selected. Do not change any other settings as this could affect system stability. Once you've confirmed everything, go to the top right corner and click apply. Wait patiently for the settings to save, then click close to exit the program. After that, restart your computer to make sure the new settings are applied properly. When your PC turns back on, open MCI mode utility again and check that the MSI box for your, your GPU is still ticked, and the interrupt priority is still set to high. If everything looks correct, the optimization is active. Now, launch Valorant and enjoy smoother gameplay. With NSCP enabled and your GPU set to high priority, your system can communicate faster with your graphics card, reducing input lag, improving stability and giving a noticeable FPS boost, especially on low-end PCs. And that's it, your Valorant is now fully optimized through the NVIDIA control panel. Take a moment to test it out. And you'll notice smoother gameplay, faster response, and a nice boost in FPS, even on a low-end PC. If this helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss the next performance boost guide. This is Velvox, and I'll see you in the next video where we make your PC even faster.